จากคณะเป็นนี้ยังพิมพ์สมกระบอกอันเชิญไอ้กระดามฮอนมานีประเทศสหเพียบสหปอนอยู่ประชนกัมพูชีอันเชิญมีมาเตะบักกัมพิธีเจ้าเงี้ยตัวสูงเหมือนท่าตาชมประตอปีครอยคลองโดย outstanding speaker จังแต่เธอระเบียบใหม่ a lot of pressure on me now จู่ทอมชมประกาศนักชมสมกระทายมุกมประเทศอนุทรักรุปอังกฤษกาละสมกรุปไอดอมลิมติวขณะทำได้ให้เจียวเซสมกรุปตัดดอลอมพรอมสไรเดเจียนาพิมาลตัดดอลโครงการเงี้ย project inspire ต้องออกดำเนินวันมีนาทีนี้ชมเชื่อท่ากรุปกระติสะต้องออกวันมีนบอกปุ่มได้ได้คืนปีสมาร์ทเพียบบอกโกนโกนบานสมารักบานบานบางไฮปีสมาร์ทเพียบขมิ้นเอาไว้จีการเลือกตัดเจ็ดจุดพวกโกนโกนกำแต่เลือกปีนองไทม์เทียบจุดพวกมีนาใบหน้าคือขมิ้นเอาไว้เลือกปีนองไทม์เทียบปีการคืนโกนครัวในไอสมาร์ทบานมีนชันเตะให้มีนสมาร์ทเพียบครุกนอนนองกาบะไฮในสมาร์ทเพียบดักนวมระบอกนิพนธ์ตีมุนตะวงเกี่ยวกับจุดนวมมกอยสะเพียบสะปอนอยู่จนกำจีชมสมไทม์นอกกุนตลอดโปรเจกต์อินสปายเออร์ให้โครงการงี้โปรเจกต์อินสปายเออร์ได้บานปลอดกะเขียนบานมาจูรูมในขนาดไงนี่สมัยมโนกุลตลอดเซฟให้หนึ่งเอสไอซีได้บานปลอดกะดูเขียนได้กับบานมาจูรูมในขนาดไงนี่ให้กับสมัยมโนกุลจมูกพันเอลิสได้ไงนี่คือหนึ่งจูรูมใจมเล็กบอกพิซาวด์ให้หนึ่งเจียวไว้ได้เตรียมครุ่นขนมกะปลอดกะให้โอนโอนต้องออกสู้เสียสมนูจูนตลอดกุกกอดอ่อนจุมาอ่อนประกาศในการอยู่ดังบอกยืนกลัวไหนให้จุดใส่โอนโอนแต่มาน้องแต่จูรูมอย่างนั้นจุดปุ่ยจีโซลูชั่น being part of the solution to what is the under a better appreciation of under value profession but before I go forward I would like to share what I first heard about Project Inspire of course last year was Julia now studying in in the US When I first heard the name, I said, "Finally, we got something." I'm not part of it, but I'm so proud that you guys started it. Because it's about time that we have a platform for youth to actually start sharing the ups and downs, the real experience, the hard work, to order to inspire other people, to inspire other youth. Why? Because if not, There will always be about this is the problem. It's because of that guy. It's because of that guy. Yeah. It's always about somebody else. But then when it comes to you, you want to be part of the solution, not part of perpetuating the problem. Yes, it's good to know that you know there's this issue, that issue. But have you actually? Involve yourself in trying to do something about it, or you are sitting around and actually pointing fingers. So, Project Inspire, I think for me, I envy all of you because of the name. I have to admit, m o n s a m r a n a here is my witness because it's a beautiful name. I give you all the applause and the props of what you guys are doing. It's unbelievable. This is really a good thing for our country and for the future of this country. So, thank you very much, and you deserve the round of applause. I think today we are addressing the topic of a better appreciation of undervalued profession: teachers, writers, and researchers, and artists. I believe that they deserve the chance and deserve the highlight today. First, for us as youth, I think it is an opportunity to really learn from them and really to find out a bit more from them what they are going through, what they are facing. Why and and why should we actually give them the appreciation that they deserve? First of all, teachers. Imagine all the sacrifice, the time, the energy, the love that they give to all the students. Doesn't matter you are kindergarten, to high school, to university. Or all the time, all of you. I'm pretty sure one time or another, the teachers, our teachers, has been trying to explain a lesson. And you guys are on phone, Facebook, or chatting with your classmate. But do you understand the energy of spending time away from home, from the children, and dedicating oneself? 
either earth, he or she in terms of relaying the knowledge that they have accumulated to all of you. One, you understand how hard it is, how much sacrifice it is. Doesn't matter which level or teacher you are. Then you will start to appreciate how much they have given to you. That, I think, the first thing that you need, we need as a youth to actually start to do. And then how do you actually come up and join together? I think the first step is to really give the spotlight and the recognition to them by appreciating what they do for us. And the role of teachers are very, very important. Aside from our parents on our, in our homes, teaching us to be good son, good children, good citizen. Aside from our home, it is the teachers. And teachers play a very, very crucial role. Why? Because they are developing the next generation of leaders. Whatever that we come in, just like me, going to a university, a high school, or university, we are kind of blank page, a white page. Whatever the teacher teach us, whatever the teacher inspire us, whatever the teacher is guiding us, most likely, most often times, you will become that way at the end of the semester. If he or she push you to work even harder, if he or she is pushing you to find answers for yourself at the university levels, if he or she keep on telling you, don't give up, try a bit more, most often times you will come out a better from yourself at the beginning of the semester. And you will be participating and contributing positively to the development of the country. How about writers and artists, uh, writers and researchers? Imagine of all the fiction that maybe you have read, all the poems, for example, all the research that they actually go around for writers. Imagine the imagination that they have in terms of formulating a novel, a fiction. Harry Potter, for example. I watched the movie, I didn't read it, but I read all the kind of books. But imagine, the, try to come up with the fact that how did they come up with this kind of imagination? The level of creativity in bringing something that is in their mind into words on the book. It's not that easy. Sit down and try to write a song. Imagine now the original song that we have come up with in Cambodia. Unbelievable. But we need to appreciate how hard it is. It's never simple. If it is simple, everybody would be an artist, uh, uh, would be a writer, a songwriter, a singer. But it's not that easy when you start to think about it. Researcher is the same. How do they actually take a few points, a few ideas, come up and do a lot of research to formulate into an all holistic approach on certain issue? So these are the things that we need to appreciate. Artists, of course artists. They are not only performers. Performer, they already perform, is it? Look at them when they are on stage. We see in them just performers, but you know what they are. They are those who protect our rich culture and heritage. Those who actually promote and continue what our ancestors have created, which in the world, there is none like us. They are the ones who stand on the international stage and show that richness that Cambodia don't have. Just like there are so many teachers there are so many performers, there are so many artists. But right now I just praise traditional performance. At Chinge in Singapore, for example. They were there representing 15 million, not only 15, 15 million Cambodians, but the rich and spirit of our traditional treasure. 
that opportunity and they show it and they re represent Cambodia with pride. Because Singapore newspaper actually only showcase Cambodian contingent. That is pride. But the question now is because of you. Now, us as youth, after we appreciate how hard they are working, how hard they are giving us, how do you actually help them? So that is the question for you to reflect on moving forward. In short, we need to try to understand and go deeper of the sacrifice, the hard work, the dedication of each profession. Then perhaps you start to realize how hard it is. It's not that easy. It's actually quite complex. But the question is, one, you understand how hard it is, how level of dedication that they have, then for all of us, how do we give the recognition and how do we participate and continue, for example, to assist and support the traditional culture that we have moving forward. So for me, as a UU, <coughs> on behalf of Union of Youth Federation Cambodia, and also as a Cambodian citizen, I don't have anything other than my sincere thanks to teachers all across the country, to writers and researchers all across the country, as well as artists all across the country who have given their all with and in the field of their passion to continue and share and dedicate to giving to others what they have to offer. And that in itself is a role model for us and a role model not only for us to see, but to be inspired of how can we actually go forward, move forward with the dream that we have and always appreciate others, learning from the hard work and the dedication of others. And how do you apply all of it to yourself toward achieving your own dream? And along the way, I do hope you can share and inspire other people as well. My last point, I know you have given me five minutes, I know I'm over time, but only three points I would like to raise. Be the inspiration to others. Today you will listen to outstanding panelists who have gone through the hard work it's with full of experience. Learn from their stories, be inspired, but also go forward and inspire others. Just listen to Kenya Ko Ting Hoi. Hoi. Listen to what she has to say. Isn't it an inspiration to you? From a moment where she feels like giving hope, but what given her back the strength to move on? For me, I have three stories I would like to share. Very, very short one, not too long. Any fan of Small Boys, Small Band? Anyone who went to that concert yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, Yuko, on stage, with all the ladies or maybe some guys going through the same way and as Teng Hong mentioned, that sometimes she feels that she's worthless. She's down. She's not matters to anyone. Yuko said the same thing. A lot of people actually put a lot of pressure on her. Had a lane score or Patreon. Had a got skinny me. Size eyes, size eye what what go X X S. Some to quoting Yuko from yesterday. But and it put her down. She said that at one moment, receiving of all the pressure, she actually hide from being in public. But then at one point, she sat down and talked to herself. And she came up with the song, Bante. I am different, but what's wrong with that? I was done for me. I was not born to be pressured by society. So that is in regard to being lifestyle of sharing. Maybe a lot of ladies can relate or maybe even guys can relate. For my own personal story, people 
look at me and see me don't don't have hair ពេលមុនតែវងពេលអស់ឈូសកគេមើលមកមានការព្រួយបារម្ហើយជាវិសេសសូមយីសូមខាន់ទៃ្ទោះបងនារីនារីមើលមកចេះតែអោនមុខចុះហើយលើការកូនបីអត់អីតែការនៅកលោះពេលឈូសកភ្លាមគឺយើងមានកាលបាបារម្តែឈូហើយផតទៅឈូសកអស់ទៅលេងបារម្ពីសម្ពាធពីខាងក្រៅហើយនិយាយលេងកំដៅវាមានលក្ខណៈមែនតែបងទី2ងៃមុនទៅផ្ទះបៃអង្គការផ្ទះបៃគឺមក That's a young girl. Her name is Solita. Chick main mui dai ruas nau suun chba. Lau kot ban tau nau phteh ong ka phteh bai ko ma. Rien nau chia lai plong ba dop chnam nei hai. Hai leus mun trem tai pi kwat cheng pi suun chba nu te. She now has a new portfolio. She is going with the support of Tulejo. to distribute bread for kids and children at the red light why she didn't have anything but why she feel that she want to give back and imagine if she's gone through that way and she is able to give back ask yourself why cannot you and the third story i would like to share is from my dear colleague and friends of course to all of us Many outstanding story, but I choose to choose uh, to pick up on it. Kachmu ne sokirin, ne posat. Pe ne je bom pon kwai sa mo yeng. Pe ne kmen ke luo mpe so. Kot da luo mpe so. Kom pram prai rien sot ban mo pato rien sot ne je lai ne ai re tani phnom pe. Pato mo to rien ban ne sa chma palong ban buo tu. លយងត្រលយងត្រហ្នឹងលយងត្រនៅប្រាំងហើយលើទៅជាបន្ធីបុំប្រធានមន្ទីសាការីសេតាវិទូមួយ these are extraordinary history stories and it happened so why is that on ស្អីម្នាក់ដែលគាត់រស់នៅសួនច្បាបងម្នាក់ដែលគាត់លក់អំពើសាងនៅទីជនបត់សោះ why were they able to succeed where they born in a special family but i think those stories need to be shared on project inspired that's what we have today because one you see that somebody who did not start with nothing but is able to realize his or her own dream why not keep that as a motivation to yourself to say Hey, if he can do or she can do, why not me? And maybe we need to spend a bit more time to say that what can I do better? What can I learn and do better? Rather than say, ah, it's probably somebody else. Somebody else fault that I don't succeed. So the last thing that I have for you, like I said, today, listen to the outstanding panelists get inspired from their stories and please go out and inspire others this is what our country needs successful stories inspired stories and for the organizing <coughs> organizing committee of project inspire you can be you can be sure that you are cbbbu and me personally will be with your support because at the end of the day it is not about me being with you it's about helping each and every one of you get inspired and most importantly inspired to realize your own dream it's not about being ashamed to get help but it's about realizing your own dream and by realizing your own dream you need to be inspired you need to be motivated you need to always remember that yes there are challenge but i can do it if somebody else can i can also do so it's about realizing your own dream and once each and every one of you have succeeded in your own dream the success will also go to our nation so i wish you all the luck
get inspired, go inspire others, and I wish you all the best in realizing your own dream. Thank you. Thank you, His Excellency Hon Mani, for your meaningful opening remarks. Now we would like to call for our project leader, Ms. Ko Teng Hoi, to hand this beautiful flower bouquet to His Excellency. <laughs> 